Hi, and welcome to another uh, Coda Guitar lesson on uh, three-string cigar box guitar playing. So uh, in this lesson we're going to be looking at uh, sort of beginner level, fairly fairly easy 12-bar uh, blues um, with a bit of a, a bit of a riff base to it. Uh, so we've already done another lesson which is explaining how 12-bar blues um, structures work because uh, blues generally sort of cycles round, it keeps looping round, doesn't have like typical verses and choruses like with normal rock or pop songs. Um, so please check that out. There's also a video on uh, basic slide, basic slide technique. Um, just just looking at how how to um, get a decent sound out of it, uh, how to hold your hand position, and um, a useful minor pentatonic scale to use. Uh, there's also a there's also a useful video on uh, finger picking patterns. Um, so check those out uh, because I'm not going to cover those in so much detail here. So. Here we go, without further ado, um, we're in the key of G, so uh, we're tuned to uh, hit the lowest string being G, I'll let that ring out, and then the middle string being D, and then the highest, thinnest sounding uh, one being high G, so G, D, G, okay? so. We've got um, a, a similar picking pattern as to what was covered in the, 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 the previous picking exercise um, lesson. So your thumb is keeping a regular pulse. So it's basically playing where you'd normally tap your foot sort of on the beat. Um, now I'm doing a little bit of palm muting here. If you can hear the difference. So again, check out the other video for a more detailed explanation of that. Just helps to helps to separate the sound out so the bass has got a different tone to the higher notes. So the thumb is carrying on like this and what we're going to do with the fingers is we're going to go thumb, finger, finger, finger. So that's uh, index, middle, thumb, index, middle. So these, these are the important two. So I'm going to go thumb, index, middle, index. And that middle was uh, what we call uh, playing with a pull, so it's with the thumb. So it's thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, pull, thumb. So thumb, index, pull. And when I, uh, I do the pull with the middle finger, I'm going to use the slide. So that's, um, I'm going to finish on fret 3, um, it's like a grace note slide into fret 3, start from wherever you want, I'm starting from roughly fret 2, the imp it doesn't matter if I'm slightly higher or lower, the main thing is when I, I want to arrive at the correct place on fret 3, so I'm going like this, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, literally just going to repeat that, do that three times. So I'm going thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index, final time, thumb, index, middle, index. Okay, so uh, that would be a really good thing to do to start with, just get a little bit of a flow to that and try and keep that thumb going at a steady pace slow this but just making sure everything's coordinated okay so once you got that um, the, the fourth time round instead of doing that again we're going to play thumb open uh, I think I'll use my index again and then I'm going to do another pull this time I'm doing a grace note slide into fret 12 with the thumb. So it's thumb, index, pull with the middle and again I'm sliding roughly from fret 10. Um, it's not too important, it's just where we arrive. We want to make sure that fret 12 is in tune. Okay, so that's the fourth time round. So we've got thumb, index, middle, index, and again, 
third time, then fourth time, I'll do that again. So uh, that full little cycle there, so three uh, of the riff where we go up to fret three and then uh, the fourth one going up to fret 12, all of that lasts for exactly eight beats, so eight thumb notes, uh, which is exactly two bars. So um, in a 12 bar uh, blues cycle, we, uh, we play the first four, normally uh, we, we play the first four bars uh, using the same chord, so this is G in this case. So if you remember, the, the open strings in this uh, cigar box tuning um, give you a, a type of G chord, G power chord. So we're, uh, we're just going to repeat all of that. So uh, exactly as I just did there, three times down here, and then the fourth time up to fret 12, do it all again. Three times down here, fourth time up to fret 12. So that gives you, takes you up to the end of bar four. Then we're going to go to the next chord, which is uh, C, which is uh, fret five. Okay, and um, I'm literally just going to alternate with the thumb still on the beat and um, fingers in between. So it's like thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. So that was exactly one bar. One, two, three, four. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, uh, and and we do that twice as well. So um, uh, we we play two bars of C. So um, just to make it a bit more interesting, I could slide into the C both times. Another little grace note slide like this. One, two, three, four. One. So that takes us up to the end of bar six, and then we're going to go back to G. So we're literally just going to play the same G riff, three of these, fourth time, up to fret 12. Okay. Um, one little thing, I just caught that by mistake. One little thing um, that we want to think about is uh, with, with the slide, um, I'm, uh, I'm only catching this top string, this, this high G here, so uh, I'm actually angled, if you can see that, I'm, I'm not, I don't need to be straight, so I'm angled so that, so that I'm not covering the, the other strings at all, I'm only using the slide on the high G, the, 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 D, uh, the G and the D are both open, so um, we've got that angle all the way through there, even up on fret 12 as well um, but uh, if you angle too much you can easily catch your frets like that so you just got to make sure that you, you you're sort of rough roughly what's that less than 45 degrees if you if you imagine that flat so just sort of play, play around and see what works with your guitar kind of depends on what what your actions like how high you are off the the, the frets and so on with the strings <laughs> 